Hello, my name's Liz Watkins and I'm an illustrator based in London. In this video, I'm going to share with you drawings made on location in Liverpool and Leeds using Viviva colour sheets. These are the materials I took with me on location. These are the colour sheets themselves, which are like small rectangles of concentrated colour on a card holder. As you can see, mine got really mucky as I used them quite a bit. Um, they have tracing paper in between each of the layers. I also took some white gouache to mix with the colours to create more pastel shades. I used two different sorts of brushes, a very thick one which was cut down which was a cut down decorating brush and a long thin one. I also took a mixing palette too. Here are samples of each of the colours. As you can see they are very intense and bright. So I thought I'd do a flip through of the sketchbook I took with me. I started off doing some tentative experiments with the colour in small details, looking at the architecture on Castle Street. You can see with this drawing the intensity of the colour. These are using the sheets again but this time mixed with the white gouache to produce small pastel shades. Uh, this building is the remain of a bomb church and I tried to use the different pastel colours to indicate the different surfaces of the structure. This was another building in the centre of the city and I'm still experimenting here. So you've got some people here, um, the crypt in the cathedral, um, various other, some writing. I tend to use my sketchbook on this occasion, was, it's more like a journal really, rather than just for sketches. So let's move on to the Leeds trip. So I used the, the same materials, the, the gouache with the colour sheets, to draw the warehouses by the river. The colours are quite creamy and they're mixed with the gouache, which I think works work quite well for the buildings. This is back to the pure colour, direct from the pad, for this um, drawing made at the drink and draw session in the evening, uh, with black and white lines on top. Uh, this is the entrance to the corn exchange, which I think was developed from developed in a similar way to the bombed out church using the pastel colours. Um, I'll see if I go back and have a look at it. If I can find it. Yeah, there you can see there's, there's a bit of similarity in the, try, the way I tried to use the, the paints on that one. So now uh, back to Liverpool. I also worked on some larger pieces, about A2 size. Uh, this one is the Walker Art Gallery. And here's the finished piece. Um, Albert Dark in progress and then uh, this here is a finished piece for that one. And finally, the Liver Building, the sky went a bit wild on this one, probably should have stopped. Anyway, as a, here's a reminder of the materials I used. Uh, generally, I think the colour sheets are really interesting to use. They're really light to take with you um, and you get some quite surprising results. But on the negative side I'd say they are quite messy or well, I, I found them messy and I did get my hands stained at various points but um, yeah an interesting way to 
do location drawing if you want to mix up your watercolour techniques. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. Thank you.